Okay, first we are going to observe the natural shape of the capsicum that we have in our hand before we proceed to shape the top of the head of the goldfish. Remember that this part is a little bit more slanted, so we are going to remove the bulge. But remember not to cut too deeply, otherwise you are going to create a hole. The day I said I love you, I share all your burdens too. to create the gills of the fish. Normally I just eyeball this part. for the other side of the fish. the center line of the belly of the fish so that I know where the fins will have to begin. The trick is to create all the fins from the skin of the capsicum. You have to be very careful with creating the fins of the goldfish because they are very thin and if you are not careful, you will have sliced the whole skin off. Observe the shape of the top of the fin and shape it accordingly. Next, we are going to shape the back of the fish, which is a little bit more narrow now. Now you see that I'm trying to create the eyes of the goldfish with a papaya seed. The day I said I love you, I share all your burdens too, and I then we are gonna stick gum paste into the fish because goldfish has a very cute bulging belly. Learn and understand.
highlight the gills of the goldfish with a dark red food coloring so that it highlights the sweet. Then I will color the tail of the goldfish by outlining it with the food coloring. I love to highlight the bottom of the mouth with white so that it draws attention to the mouth of the goldfish. Normally this part I just go with my gut feeling but it would be good if you have a reference picture. Now for the settings. Boil some white sago seeds. It doesn't have to be totally all boiled. The trick is uh, when they are half boiled, they actually kind of stick together and it's easy for you to create the baiting with it. The day I said I love you, I share all your burdens too. We will freeze this part with jelly solution first in the fridge. Then we will create the next section of the jelly. This part requires a lot of patience because we are going to create it layer by layer. The main challenge of this step is how can we create this outward layer by layer without seeing the clear divider so we really have to control the contents of the jelly and make it homogeneous throughout and now we are going to feed our goldfish